1957, two engineers in New Jersey, this bloke, Alfred Fielding, and this bloke, Mark Chavan, were designing a new groovy type of wallpaper filled with air bubbles. It didn't sell that well. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 products that were initially invented for a different purpose. For this list, we'll be looking at successful inventions that currently serve a different function than they were initially conceived for. I had the feeling, the potential of the object. I found it very simple to manufacture, and the result of that, it can be an object that is available for everyone. Let us know in the comments below if you've ever used any of these products for their original purpose. Number 10. Chewing Gum. Original Purpose rubber substitute. Sugarless or organic, people love to chew gum. While it has existed in several forms throughout history, what we now know as chewing gum originated from a substance called chicle, which the ancient Mayans and Aztecs chewed. A natural tree gum, chicle was brought from Mexico to the U.S. in the 1860s by General Antonio Lopez de Santa Ana and found its way into the hands of his secretary, Thomas Adams. Adams first marketed chicle as a rubber substitute for tire production, but when that fails to catch on, he tweaked its composition and packaging, selling it as chewing gum. But it wasn't until a traveling salesman named William Wrigley Jr. got into the business the chewing gum became a national pastime. This revised product sold like wildfire, and the rest, they say, is some very rubbery history. You got a stick of gum, Victor? I would never ask. Number nine, Lysol, original purpose, Vaginal douche. New Lysol spray disinfectant. The pleasant way to eliminate germs, mildew, and the odors they cause, even in spotless homes. Though it is now widely known as a household cleaning agent, Lysol was originally marketed to women as a feminine hygiene product. Various ads from the 1920s and 30s were recently discovered showing the disinfectant being hailed not only as a hygiene product, but as a method of contraception. Yep, you heard that right. At the time, oral contraceptives hadn't been invented yet, and condoms were too expensive for the average person, so Lysol was adopted as the relatively cheaper and easily accessible option. This didn't pan out well, however. I want my bathroom to shine, to smell fresh. Now, get both with Lysol Disinfectant Basin Tub and Tile Cleaner. As the product ended up causing a lot of internal damage. The ads were eventually pulled and the brand put out a statement against using Lysol in or on the human body. America's largest selling disinfectant. Ask for Lysol at your druggist today. Number eight, Braille, original purpose, military language. Braille simplified the system, reducing the cells from 12 to 6 raised dots, so they were the ideal size for a fingertip to feel with one touch. During the Napoleonic Wars, there was a need for a means of communication between soldiers that would allow them to evade detection by their opponents. In response to this need, Charles Barbier, a captain in the French army, developed night writing a system that involved dots read with fingers without the use of a light source. Although it was turned down by the military for being too difficult to read, Barbier introduced it at the Royal Institution for Blind Youth, where Louis Braille happens to be a student. His eye got infected and the infection spread to the other eye. By five, Louis Braille was completely blind. Braille identified the flaws with Barbier's system and modified it into what it is today, an essential reading and writing tool for people who are visually impaired. Whoa, this is the new Henry Screamer. You read Braille? Yeah, don't you? Oh, uh, no, I'm not, um, blind. <laughs> it's all right to say it. Number seven, Play-Doh. Original purpose, wallpaper cleaner. 
For decades now, this salty and colorful clay has been the go-to toy for toddlers. But we bet you didn't know that it was originally invented as a wallpaper cleaner. The modeling compound, produced by a Cincinnati-based soap manufacturer called Kutal Products, was advertised as a solution to soot-stained wallpapers caused by household coal furnaces. In Cincinnati, Kutal Products creates a putty-like substance for getting soot off wallpaper. We'll call it wall cleaner. But with the end of the Second World War, most families transitioned to natural gas heating, and the demand for wallpaper cleaners declined. The head of the company, Joseph McVicker, decided to rework the cleaner and market it as a play object. This saved the company's declining sales, as Play-Doh became widely popular among toddlers, selling a staggering 2 billion cans since its introduction. I think a real learning benefit to Play-Doh is that you can increase your fine motor skills and just tactile development. A child can learn very, very intricate skills with their own fingers. Number 6. Corkstrew. Original purpose, bullet extractor. The traditional waiter's corkscrew or wine key. Check it out. The corkscrew is now a ubiquitous fixture in kitchens all around the world, but it first came to prominence for an entirely different purpose. In the 17th century, an early form of the device, known as the gun worm, was used on the battlefield to remove unspent bullets stuck in the barrel of a musket. In some cases, they were also used to extract bullets from wounds, especially those lodged deep in the bone or muscle. The first one is based on torque, so that you've got a corkscrew like this, which you basically use a turning action and a pulling action, and this really exerts your muscle power. It wasn't until the 18th century that several patents were filed for corkscrews modeled to open cork-sealed bottles. The first was granted in 1795 to Reverend Samuel Henshaw, whose design served as the blueprint for the modern-day corkscrew. I think we need to drink to this, don't you? I think you're right. Can I have a whole bottle? <laughs> <laughs> Number 5. Rubik's Cube. Original purpose, learning tool. Seventeen ten. This is me. Good job. The inventor of the Rubik's Cube, Erno Rubik, was a young sculptor and professor of architecture when he created the Puzzling Cube in 1974. At the time, Rubik was fascinated with the idea of space and three-dimensional objects and needed a visual aid to better understand those concepts and teach them to his students. I was lecturing design and architecture. It was very similar in age with the students. I was very ambitious to find new ways to teach them, especially about space and three dimension. After making the first wooden prototype, Rubik's students quickly became fascinated with it, which made him realize the potential of his toy puzzle. Rubik's Cube was released to toy stores around the world in 1980 and became a worldwide phenomenon soon after. Today, the puzzle has seen over 450 million sales, making it the best-selling puzzle game of all time. But why is lining up the right colors of this cube so insanely difficult? The reason? There's only one correct answer. Number 4. Implantable Pacemaker Original purpose, sound recorder. Hi, uh, I have a medical condition. This is my pacemaker ID card. Okay. So I have a pacemaker, so it might beep when you do it over right. my chest area. Right. The invention of the implantable pacemaker marked an important milestone in modern medicine that has allowed millions of people to live long, healthy lives. But it may shock you to know that this wonderful innovation was actually discovered by mistake. In 1956, Wilson Greatbatch, one of the first engineers to work on the implantable pacemaker, set out to create a device that would record the sounds of the heart. Wilson Greatbatch was uh, speaking with uh, physicians, and that's where he first learned about the problem of heart block. However, after placing the wrong resistor in the circuit, he realized that his device had generated an electrical pulse that could regulate the heart's rhythm. 
This led to the invention of the earliest form of the implantable pacemaker, which was first used in humans in April 1960. Number 3. Bubble Wrap Original Purpose Plastic Wallpaper This is the first bubble wrap manufacturing machine that was built in uh, Hawthorne, New Jersey in 1957. Okay, this was originally built to produce wallpaper, and that's a market that didn't take off, so that's when they found a use for it in packaging. If at first you don't succeed, you try and try and try again until you make it. At least, that was the lead up to the invention of everyone's favorite packaging material and stress reliever. Now who's with me? Let's celebrate. The inventors of bubble wrap, Alfred Fielding and Mark Chavans, first created it as a plastic wallpaper filled with air bubbles. When their bubble wallpaper failed to catch on, the two reworked it and tried marketing it as a greenhouse insulator. But sadly, that was also a failure. Two years after its invention, Fielding and Siobhan struck gold when they pitched the bubble wrap to IBM as a protective material for its new, fragile computer. It didn't quite stick. But from that failure, bubble wrap was born. Number two, Coca-Cola. Original purpose, patent medicine. $670 billion. That's the kind of business the global non-alcoholic ready-to-drink beverage industry does every year. The largest player in that business is the Coca-Cola company. After the American Civil War, many former soldiers started using morphine to relieve the pain from their war-inflicted injuries and ended up developing an addiction to it. One such person was John Pemberton, a Confederate colonel who would go on to invent one of the world's most popular soft drinks. Pemberton went about adapting the bitter-tasting medicine in the back room of his pharmacy. And what you have to do is mask it with a big old pile of sugar, which is what you find in a lot of soft drinks and energy drinks. Back in 1885, Pemberton, who was also a pharmacist, set out to find a cure for his addiction and came up with Coca-Cola, a drink he marketed as a tonic for morphine addiction, nerve disorders, and impotence. The secret recipe was bought from Pemberton by another pharmacist, and the tonic was rebranded from a patent medicine to the refreshing soft drink that we know and love today. But the shining star is and always will be Coca-Cola, the original soft drink. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Listerine Original Purpose – Surgical Antiseptic and General Germicide Excuse me, madam, do you suffer from halitosis? Hotsy totsy, I don't know, what's halitosis? Why, it's Latin for icky disease for rubes. The name of this popular mouthwash brand came from Joseph Lister, an English surgeon who pioneered the use of antiseptics during surgery. Inspired by Lister's work, Joseph Lawrence, a Missouri-based doctor, developed a powerful formulation of his own antiseptic, which he called Listerine. Because Listerine kills germs. <laughs> Lawrence first marketed Listerine as a surgical antiseptic, as well as an all-purpose germicide to treat wounds, clean floors, and even cure gonorrhea. The product never really took off for any of these, until the 1920s when its manufacturers initiated an aggressive ad campaign that highlighted bad breath as a major societal problem. They then promoted Listerine as the only solution to this problem, effectively carving out their own market. Talk about a breath of fresh air. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful shame money. <laughs> Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.